Hey everyone, this is Frida Lager, Raja Rave, and I'm here with my recap and review of High Town season number three, episode number three. And this episode, like, Aceto really, yeah, he's ready for war, and he basically kind of made the first aggressive step, which makes sense for his character. Because, hey, he's trying to save himself, he's also trying to continue his business, and he does not appreciate Owen and his uncle doing stuff. Now, before I get to that, this particular episode opened up with kind of like a flash. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> kind of like a flashback slash dream where Jackie is hanging out with Veronica and they're high and Veronica is like hey I'm gonna go take a swim and Jackie is like yeah I'm gonna I want to watch you take a swim and Veronica goes into the swimming pool but something happens she loses consciousness and she, she just like face first into the water with her nose bleeding and it turns out that it's basically like a dream while while Frankie is uh, while Jackie is staying with Emma however i do feel that there might be some truth to that could be like these two might have gone to the swimming pool who knows and again jackie is like emma i need you to let give me some contact some information about veronica i need to figure out if she's okay if she's doing well and yada 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 and emma's like hey you know what you, veronica can handle herself okay but but again jackie's like no i was with her she kind of jacked my car but i'm not worried about the car when but when i found the card i found one of her shirts and it was in it was like covered and drenched in blood so i need to know if she's okay just tell me if she's okay and then we're done and emma's like you know what say the magic words and jackie's like uh please emma's like no money <laughs> but yeah emma does try and call veronica but she's not picking up i guess her cell phone is dead so yeah there's something there's something up so and emma agrees to help jackie find veronica because again veronica is a friend and she is worried about her but Frankie's trial coming up, we get the scene between the lawyer, Alan, and Ray. And yeah, the lawyer's like, okay, I have to ask you questions about your sexual relationship with Renee Sega and all of that stuff. And Ray is like, why would I tell you about it? Uh, it has nothing to do with Frankie. And the lawyer's like, you know what? Frankie's lawyer is going to be asking those questions tough questions so you better start answering and especially with how you have had like the sexual relationship with Renee they can pin this entire thing on you that you concocted the story in order to get Frankie behind bars so you you and Renee could be together and of course Ray is annoyed by all of the questioning and whatnot and Alan is angry he is annoyed and Alan is like Ray you have to pay the bill I think that Alan from his point of view he's very frustrated and annoyed by the fact that Ray doesn't do things by the book and he continues to get off Ray like he doesn't face any consequences and Alan wants Ray to like face consequences which which I get which I get but yeah they need to start prepping for the upcoming trial over in jail we get to see Frankie noticing certain inmates like doing their drug deals and apparently there's another player in prison who isn't who who is selling drugs and that player is connected to Owen and oh and Osito's guy doesn't appreciate that so he ends up calling Osito and he's like yep yeah, it's the I think he calls them white boys like I'm not really sure if it's like white white actual white boys or if it's like Wyatt boys I'm not sure but it could be white boys considering what kind of show this is you know but yeah so he does like you know what just hang tight I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this I'm gonna figure something out Renee is waiting for Rachel to come on over for her babysitting job so she can go get to work and she hears a knock on the, at the door and she at first she's like oh it's Rachel I'm uh, oh it must be Rachel I'm gonna go open the door but no it's Alan and she's like what the heck are you doing here and Alan's like oh congratulations on your new baby but yeah I'm just reaching out because you gotta get ready for for the trial and Renee is like no that wasn't a part of the deal I'm not supposed to stand on trial I'm not supposed to testify against Frankie and Alan's like well you know things have changed and you better start uh, start talking to Ray about how you, how both of you are gonna handle this situation because the trial is coming up and we get this scene between Emma and Ray and they're waiting for Fitz I guess that guy's name is Fitz his he, he's there in into the drug circle and before Fitz shows up uh, Emma talks to Ray about uh, if she's allowed to use and yada 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 and Ray is like hey I'll be there 
uh, I'll be I'll be near. I'll be there to protect you. So you you've got nothing to worry about. And the moment that Ray and Emma met each other, I think her name's Emma. Who cares what her name is at this point, right? But yeah. So uh, and when b these two met each other, I yeah, you could tell that Ray was kind of smitten with her. And this episode confirms that he really wants to get with her. And I'm like, Ray, ew, no. And then we get this very creepy scene where Rachel does show up, and again, she's not actually a babysitter and the way she's acting in front of Renee and uh, it's so creepy because again Renee is just leaving her two kids with Rachel who knows what Rachel's gonna do I think that she's probably gonna take them to prison and to meet Frankie I think that's what's gonna happen but yeah and I'm also looking forward to seeing when Renee does find out about who Rachel is and what she decides to do about it. Osito ended up following one of Owen's boys and he led them to the warehouse and it turns out that these kids i won't call them kids like young men basically they're kind of amateurs because they they're hiding their stash in this warehouse and they got no security no nothing and asido is like you know what uh, yeah we're going to war and i'm gonna i'm gonna take the first step i'm gonna steal their stash fitz ends up introducing emma to red and owen's there as well and yeah the guy's name is red because he's got red hair <laughs> And Owen basically like he instantly likes Emma, and of course Emma is flirting with him. And Owen is like, "How the heck did you guys? Uh, how the heck do you guys know each other?" Emma's like, "No, nah, I'm just here for the summer. We were play cousins and yada yada yada." And yeah, basically uh, Owen is the main target, so she just uh, she it just fits and decides to spend time with Owen. We get this scene where Rachel is kind of going through Renee's stuff, all of her undergarments and stuff. She opens up the closet and she notices Renee's blonde hair and she picks up the strand she rolls it around her finger and then she eats it i'm like what the heck emma takes jackie to the room where uh, Victor uh, where veronica was staying at but it turns out that no the the manager of the motel hasn't seen her for a while so he uh, so he decided to throw her stuff out and emma is angry about it and she's like okay so even if you throw, throw her stuff out do you know where she is yada 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 and the maid who's cleaning up the room she's like no i don't know we haven't seen her for a while. Frankie goes dumpster drive diving in order to find Veronica's stuff. And they do find it. They also find Veronica's stuff toy. And this is where uh, Emma realizes something. She's like, you know what? I think that Veronica might actually be in trouble. And she mentions a pimp named Swayze. And how he, is he isn't a fan of like these sex worker stealing from him and yada 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 and Emma's like you know what Veronica had a habit of stealing stuff so maybe she stole something and now she's in trouble and blah 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 but before Jackie can ask Emma more questions about where to find Swayze this is where the cops show up and we get this very creepy scene where the cops are like frisking Emma uh, uh, Emma and uh, uh, Jackie and oh wait did I also call Ray's partner Emma? So there are two Emma. So apparently her name is clearly not Emma. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this is where the uh, like the, it was a very creepy scene where the show sh kind of basically told us how certain cops try, uh, treat uh, women uh, like this, and yeah, he's like groping Jackie and blah 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 blah, and Jackie has to stop up, and she's like, you know what? I'm actually a, a cop, and I work under Ray Abruzzo. You can call and blah blah blah, and the guy's like, oh, you work with Ray Abruzzo? I work with him. And he stops groping her and he's like, okay, so what can I help you with? And yada, yada, yada. And Jackie's like, hey, I'm here investigating a missing person. Veronica, you know anything about it? And blue, 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 blue. And the guy's like, no, I don't. But hey, next time you come over here on a case, let the police department know so we can help you out. Of course, Emma isn't happy about learning that Jackie's a cop. She's like, why are you helping us? Jackie's like, hey, it doesn't matter, okay? Even if I'm a cop, I'm here, right? I'm here to help find Veronica, your friend. So we're doing this. And Emma's like, what do you think? You think that you're, you're, you have got some like savior complex? You think you're going to change the world and whatnot? And yeah, it's, it's, I, I can I can see why Emma said all of that to Jackie because again you you can't really trust cops if you think about it right especially if you're in this type of business. Renee ends up calling Tammy to her office and Tammy's like okay so what's this about and because Renee f uh, 
caught her in the previous episode selling drugs. She's like, Danny, I'm okay with you selling drugs to customers and making extra money, but I need you to sell, sell them actual drugs. And she ends up giving an entire packet to Tammy. And she's like, yeah, go ahead and sell them. And just so you know, you're going to continue buying from me and you're going to give me my share and blah, 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 blah. And basically Renee is like, hey, I was Frankie's girl and I know how to run the business. So why can't I be in control of everything? Emma is continuing to ask Owen certain questions and Ray is listening in and making notes. And while that's happening, this is where Jackie calls Ray and she, uh, Ray is like, where the heck are you? And she's like, hey, I'm working on something big, murder big, and I need a favor. I need you to go into the database and get me information on a pimp named Swayze. And Ray's like, what the heck, uh, Jackie, you're not on the force anymore. You gave away your badge and blah, 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 blah. I can't help you. And I'm, I'm busy too, okay? And, and Jackie's like, please do this for me and Ray is like no no can do stay safe and I'm like wow Ray wow over in the prison we are at the nursing station and this is where Frankie finds out that the nurse working at the police uh, at the prison is actually Aceto's girl and he's like ah oh. so of course Frankie is gonna use that to get to Aceto and he goes over to Aceto's uh, link inside the prison and he's like hey you okay is the big man Aceto like uh, looking out for you and yada 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 and the guy is like just leave me alone and Frankie's like you know what you know why Aceto isn't doing much for you it's because he's busy hooking up with other women and blah 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 and yeah he basically uh, like puts the seeds of doubt in Aceto's guy and like Frankie is just here to create drama at this point Things are getting hot and heavy with Owen and they are escalating and Emma isn't backing down either but she excuses herself. She goes into the bathroom and she kind of like talks to Ray and she's like, Ray, you dare? And Ray's like, yeah, I'm here. What's up? She's like, tell me I'm good doing a good job. And Ray's like, you're doing a wonderful job. And that gives Emma the confidence boost that she needs to continue hooking up with Owen. And I'm like, this girl has daddy issues and the fact that she read up on Ray and I guess she wants to you hook up with him as well i'm like wow ew no alan goes to meet up with frankie's guy and the guy is like hey where's my xbox and blah blah blah, blah. and i was like what do you mean your xbox anyway i'm here to get you ready for the trial and I, and again i'm asking you do you know nothing about who ended up killing uh, uh, jorge and blah blah blah, blah. And, and the guy is like hey all i know is that frankie didn't kill him but i do have a terry and alan is like what terry and the guy is like renee sega she she hated him and blah 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 she's the one who killed him and he, and Ellen is like okay so did you see Renee kill him did you hear anyone else say that Renee killed him and the guy is like no and I was like well well thank you thank you for this and I'm like no Ellen don't ignore it think about it just just calmly think about it Renee can't do this but then again, that's the point of Renee's character arc in the sense that everyone kind of like un continues to underestimate her. Over at Xavier's, Molly comes in and she's like, ah, oh, Renee, I was going to the schedule and you've like scheduled Tammy for a lot of days and she's not the best Da dancer here and Renee's like hey don't worry about it but tell me what is this actually about and again Renee wants her around so she can continue selling drugs and the manager is like well it's just the hormones I'm pregnant I'm so emotional I look at these girls and I feel bad that they have to do this to make money and blah blah blah, blah. and Renee's like don't worry about it I'm here I'm here you can trust me and I'm like wow wow I mean she's kind of like your only friend don't betray her and yeah, Emma decides to go upstairs with Owen to hook up with him. And of course, Ray is he hearing all of it. And at first, Ray get out, gets out of the car in order to stop her or something. But no, uh, once they get hot and heavy and he kind of overhears like Owen being all sexy and stuff and Emma like encouraging him, oh, you're so big and strong, like blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wow, Emma, you really know how to how to get on, get, get the guys on, huh? But yeah, Ray stops himself and he basically just starts hearing it and I'm like wow Ray is getting turned on right now and yeah Osito decides to steal Owen's stash and there's only one guy there and I'm like wow you couldn't even get like at least five guys surrounding the warehouse or something but no apparently not and this is where the kid he's like he's starting crying and he's like I'm gonna die am I not I'm gonna die you're gonna kill me and Osito's like why would I kill you I won't kill you if you do as I say so basically what Osito wants the kid to say is that no one came in to stole the stash 
However, he was like lighting a joint and the place got fire. And that's what he's gonna, that's the story he's gonna go with. And if he doesn't, if he mentions Aceto, then Aceto will find him and kill him. And the guy is like, but Owen was gonna beat me up. And Aceto's like, hey, think about it. Getting beat up and still living is way better than me coming over and killing you. In order to continue finding more information about Swayze, Jackie walks up to this woman and the woman is like, hey, what's up? What do you want? Jackie's like, I'm just here to ask certain questions. She ends up paying the woman and the woman is like, hey, you can ask the questions, but it doesn't necessarily mean I can answer. I would, I will answer them. And Jackie brings up Swayze and he is a well-known pimp, but the woman is like, hey, when it comes to pimps, they find you. Believe. It's not as if like they're easy to track down. If they're interested in you, they will find you. And then Jackie ends up bringing up Veronica and the woman is like, yeah, sure, a white girl goes missing and you show up looking for her, but what about the other black girls that have been gone missing for a while now? Ain't no one care about them. And Ren is, uh, Jackie's like, what the heck are you talking about? And the woman is like, just Google it, because she gives uh, Jackie a particular name. I think it was, it was Maxine something. And yeah, it's like, she's like, Google it. And again, this show is like, it links to real life issues, right? And that's, Unfortunately, that's what happens. A lot of black women are women of color who are sex workers. They do go missing. They do end up getting killed. And no one really cares. Jackie goes back to talk to Emma, but Emma isn't there. However, Emma's pimp is there and he kind of threatens Jackie and he's like, back off, bitch. You need to back off. And if you don't, I will kill you. And Jackie like like she takes Stan and she's like you know what I'm not afraid of you don't you don't scare me but again the pimp is like I don't give a fuck just just leave me alone okay just leave this case after hooking up with Emma this is where Owen gets the news that the warehouse burned down and he hurries up there and the guy who of course the young guy here is up lying about how he he's the reason the the entire place burned down and Owen starts beating him up the other guys start beating him up and I'm like oh Oh well, oh well, it's to be expected. And Asita just talks about how he ended up basically taking the first step, but Owen and his uncle can't really pin it on uh, on Asito. And that's and that's why he's like, yeah, I'm gonna play I'm gonna like fight in this war, but I'm gonna be strategic about it. Ray is dropping Emma off to her place and on their right there, this is where Ray is like, you know what, hooking up with a suspect on the second day, what the heck were you doing? And Emma's like, but you're that's rich coming from you. Didn't you hook up with uh, Renee Sega and all of that stuff and Ray is like but no that was different and she's like only because I'm a girl I'm a woman and you were a dude yeah no and again I didn't sleep with him I just like jerked him off because if I had slept with him he would have been done with me but now he wants more and besides I didn't do anything that I didn't want to do and then she talks about the recording and how whether or not it's gonna be like archived and whatnot. And and Ray is like, no, if I label it something, he, he mentions a label, he's like, it won't be archived and all of that stuff. And she's like, thank you. But before she leaves it, she's like, hey, do you want to come in, grab a beer and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Ray, no, no, no. And yeah, Ray is like, no, I got to get home. And then they wave each other goodbye. But no, this is, this is dangerous. At first I was like, maybe Ray is gonna turn around and actually go back to Emma's place but no uh, he stops by the side of the road and because he's like all hot and bothered he replaced a recording of all of the deep breaths and stuff and he starts pleasuring himself and I'm like you know what if you really think about it <laughs> he's pleasuring himself <laughs> over Owen getting off <laughs> which okay Ray Okay, you do you. And the episode ends with Jackie going to PD's house, PD, basically her dealer, who who knew about Veronica. And she's like, yeah, I'm coming over to ask you questions about Veronica and blah, 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 blah. You have to help me. So she goes in, uh, the doors open, someone broke in, she calls for PD, no one answers. And then she sees him dead on the couch with a bullet hole right in his forehead. And yeah. That Swayze character, he is, he's really something, huh? He's dangerous. And yeah, this is where the episode ends. And I'm like, Jackie, you need to take all of this information and you need to go to the police. You need to get Ray involved or someone, Alan, I don't care. You can't do this alone. But yeah, this is where the episode ends. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And yeah, until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.